Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run of uh, the freshly released mod. It is time to go for Operation Brooding Skies. We're in uh, month number three. Everything's going really, really well. Just retaliated uh, the first um, attack from Advent. Then it's time to expand uh, mostly. Uh, this year will trigger a liberation, uh, or this is the third part of a liberation chain to also free this area, essentially giving you an option to get even more resources and changing the dynamics uh, quite a bit. I will talk about it once we uh, get the fourth and fifth mission of the Liberation. For now, we gotta um, go for a dark VIP target, uh, so let's capture him and uh, start getting that sweet, sweet extra resistance contact. And here we are going. So... Gotta move up to there. Where's the VIP? We're operating in the shadows. Wait, I think I just saw him. Yeah. So there's the VIP. Some gas station here. Well, we have uh, pretty good uh, memories of gas stations and Advent. They usually go together quite well. And we do have some stairs up here. We could walk our way all the way up to here and then pop up or we're conventionally fighting it alongside the street hmm good question I think with the sniper might be a more intelligent choice to actually go up although it takes some more movement Let's put him here. Got eyes on a hostile squad. Are you fucking kidding me? Did I just see them again on the rooftop? You must be out of your mind. Do we have an option to... Well, you know what, if they keep on standing there I, I, I would have little sympathy for for not just executing them on the spot. They haven't learned their lesson. It's the second run in a row where they are standing up there. So please, huddle up here. But boy oh boy, that's funny. <clears throat> How is it even possible that the advent uh, that advent can be that incredibly stupid twice? For those of you who don't know uh, what I'm talking about, we had a mission previously in this campaign where we basically solved the entirety of the mission by just blowing up a gas station. I think two packs were just uh, standing around that particular gas station. Hilarious. Hilarious. Okay, we can't just move um, further. So got to stand back here. Not an optimal <clears throat> position to be in. Kind of these long corridors. Let's see what the snakes are doing. Oh. Oh, wait. They, ooh. Got eyes on a hostile squad. <laughs> right, it looks like two packs are standing there once again. Well, you know. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. Um, I have no idea how many how many we're going to kill, but this is gonna be hilarious. Falling damage, explosion damage, and a lot of unhappy advent. Okay, shot has been issued. Massive explosion, rendering problems, further explosion.
everything turns to shit for them and they take even further damage. Now they realize they have effed up. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, let's move up. Good copy. Moving on target. Is this your triggering the pack officially? Oh, faceless ones as well. And sectoids. Well, yeah, you know, it's really, really a good idea to uh, hide behind the next explosive after... That's a, This is hilarious. You couldn't write that better in a script. They just literally saw that their comrades were completely annihilated from, uh, from that part. And the next thing that they do tactically is to hide behind yet another container. Wow. You must be out of your mind. Okay, moving up to here. Oh my god. I'm dying. This is this is too good. All right. That's the best that's the best uh mission that we had in a while just because of the amount of perplexing stupidity that they are showing. I'm not even sure how, how many of, uh, of them we killed. But that's uh, basically two groups down and we haven't even really started. So, as I was saying, let's get into a solid position and start picking off the stra uh, stragglers here. Luckily for us, all of them <coughs> seem to be so perplex that they continue to simply stand there. So we got one, two, theoretically three. Yeah, I don't know if they do have loot, that's my only concern. Elsewise, just shooting into them with another grenade or rocket. You know what? Let's try to pick them off one by one and not with a rocket. The Viper certainly makes an excellent case of being killed. And there's the loot I was talking about. It's the faceless one. I definitely got that one. By the way, kudos for it to uh, for standing in the middle, standing in the middle as well. Okay, so that's another flank. Let's kill the sectoid. Grazed but not killed him. And if we were to go in for the Viper, that'll for the Naga, that'll be a hundred percent kill. So let's shortly take a look how many of them we killed. It's difficult to assess because it's burning so much. So uh, it said 12 enemies. Um, faces ones is always never count against that um, mark. So we killed at least two Vipers and an Advent plus that Viper that would be a pack of four. 
I think the sector it's had been a pack of two. Let's be conservatively here. So we're looking at six, meaning if we were to charge in, there is a certain chance for us to trigger another pack. Got to be mindful with that. Position confirmed. Taking a blue move. I just want to see if there is another pack. I think this here would be a reasonably safe place to attack it. Only the sectoid is here, but he either will burn to death or will start mind spinning or um, or reanimating something. So I think we're fine. I much rather want the Viper dead. There's the dark VIP. And maybe the basis ones were actually part of the whole of the whole gig. Okay, I'm, I'm still amazed by how that had turned out. Good, we're moving into here. Let's finish off the sectoid. There we go. Oh, we don't need a re... wait. No. Oh, we might need a revival protocol. The disorientation still lasts. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, to my understanding, the... Faces ones are not immune to fire. So let's be greedy, grab the loot. Nice little Larium core here. I was hoping that he would catch fire. Okay, moving up. Let's kill this guy. Another five points of damage. You know what? Let's not slow down. Roby uh, gets the revival protocol. This orientation is removed. Roby moves up, kills this guy, and then we can take care of the dark VIP next. Check it before you get too close. We're not going to go in much deeper. Closing on target position now. I would say we're overwatching. Just because it's good practice, I would 
move him out of the way here and take some cover. And we're moving up. Standing in the open right can get your soldiers killed quite easily. Just because if the next pack triggers and it's on yellow alert, they get shots and yeah, it you just want to stay in cover all the time. Fire's getting worse here. Perfect. Finally things are calming down a little bit more. Haven't even seen much alien activity. I've got eyes on an advent position. There we go. That's our last pick. I think the only thing to be concerned about is the stun answer here. Slowly but surely moving up. And let's essentially get all of them down. Yeah, I didn't get it. If, if you say so. Hmm. What would where would a good sniper nest be? I think this over here with uh, full cover might make sense. We're going to give aid protocol. We're going to give aid protocol um, to our technician here. So no need to worry about that. Um, rapid deployment, yes please, that allows us to do a flashbang uh, grenade for free, essentially making both of them obsolete for this round. And we still got a frag grenade, which I would want to launch as well. Gotta do in this, uh, do it in this order, by the way. So even if we now kill one of them, it is what it is. Good. So that's one of them down. Moving into full cover, and we are providing. Wait, I do have another idea. We do have Combative. Yeah, I think I do have a better idea. Which means we can easily kill this guy. Shouldn't, wouldn't even need it to have wasted the flashbang. Some answer will go for her. She can parry his melee attack, and on top of it, she will get... ...the aid protocol, in case she's being targeted by the drone. One overwatch from Roby, and we're done. There you go, buddy. That's what you get for attacking us in melee. There's the Overwatch. Eh, almost everything played out well.
Okay, we still didn't do not get uh, reinforcements. Which means we have plenty of time to get rid of uh, both of the remaining advent. And secure the dark VIP. We also got uh, at least a little bit of loot out of it. To my understanding, I have not seen that there had been any loot destroyed. Move into here and basically next turn knocking out the v uh, dark VIP. We want to do that once we're clear that we can uh, move up. There is, as soon as the Dark VIP is being captured, the normal game reinforcements start. In here, I would assume that the reinforcements timer just massively speeds up. So what we're going to do is we're going to rush everyone who hasn't moved yet um, towards the, uh, the target. Uh, I think... We're looking at that and that as uh, our angle to to approach the rooftop. We do have a loss of SMG, so our movement is actually quite fast. I would position ourselves here, even though it's in the open. It's a bit faster, closer to the EVEC zone. And that's the end of uh, this turn. Reinforcements still are not showing up. Okay, Roby is moving. Everyone's moving. Texman, our sniper, is moving over here. Some of our operatives are already moving to the target. Wait, wait, wait. We, I just saw that we could hack something. Okay, we we will hack that tower. Might be an extra re reward in there. We're waiting one more round. Okay. I think we might get that done even without the reinforcement. Yeah, not sure. Maybe, maybe not. This is not allowing us to hack the tower, so we're going to go to here, hack the tower next turn, and essentially be gone. Let's take the dark VIP with us. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Headed there now. Maybe we need to at least shoot the reinforcements. On the 
Reload. And Overwatch. <coughs> Good, reinforcements are going to come in. And we're looking at... Oh, that's actually pretty decent reinforcements. That is actually a pretty decent reinforcement. So, can we reach the extraction zone? Yeah, we can, which means we don't need to fight them. That was my only question that I had. There's a chance that we can get a large supply crate out of that, which would be awesome. Okay, let's hope that we can hack it. Nope, not gonna happen. Instead, everyone just bails out. We're done here. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Moving to position. Evac confirmed. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Getting out of here. Hilarious mission, if you think about it. Way easier than it's probably supposed to be. The packs were actually quite difficult. But everyone was just cramping up. And we ended up with a flawless mission. Oh my god, that was hilarious. The explosion, which also revealed the faceless one. And then the reaction of uh, the sectoids to hide behind the next car, which exploded again in their face. Like the dual, the level of dual explosion and misunderstanding, complete disregard of the AI for any uh, form of of um, gas stations is hilarious. It was such a good mission. I would probably highlight that as a replay because I've never seen so, uh, so much stupidity and I've played the game for a long time. Great, three promotions. Let's take a look at it. Uh, we get Field Surgeon here because we want to reduce uh, the, uh, the sickness times. Um, for her, we're going to go for Covert, uh, although all of the other abilities, specifically Cutthroat, is also nice, but Covert um, pretty good because she's going to scout. Rec time. Loving it. Go for the shredder ability. By the way, training center will be huge once we get it. Uh, you can see a lot of them have accumulated quite a few, um, quite a few soldier AP. Shredder. Yeah, 
And we got a scope and an Alarium core plus a resistance contact out of it. Um, we're just waiting for the power relay to finish. Training center will be will be next, really. And finally, we get some new targets. So this one here is an interesting uh, mission. I talked about the liberation, right? And uh, this here is the next mission in the liberation chain. That's the fourth mission. Um, once we uh, are able to secure the network tower, which is a mission that we can do whenever we feel like, I will do it right away, but whenever you generally feel like. Uh, this mission is actually a little bit di more difficult. It's um, limited to five, uh, uh, to five of our uh, best soldiers and it always needs a hundred percent infiltration to, uh, uh, to to start so let me clear that out and find a team that I'm comfortable with and then we're going to see uh, how uh, or I'm explaining how I'm going to do the, uh, the mission okay here we go um, uh, this is the team that's going to infiltrate we got laser rifles across the board. We got our first two predator armors uh, uh, going, and we're going. We're probably going up against up to 15 enemies. So let's start the infiltration process and see what else uh, we can do. We've also seen that I switched to laser rifles for uh, Renman. My experience is that the mission is too tightly packed. Uh, to allow for uh, for too many melee or close combat maneuvers. We got an extremely light hack the, hack the resistance uh, mission um, that could give us 29 intel. Four days are definitely a stretch because it will reduce us to being forced to take only four soldiers onto this mission. But I can see um, what I can come up with. Just give me a second. Okay, not perfect, but close enough. We're going in with a team of four, and uh, it's gonna increase the baseline just a little bit to 12 enemies, but I think we can do it. Uh, we got a fast team at our hand, so a lot of movement speed and a few explosives. I'm actually quite uh, happy about the constellation, and we also got uh, armor penetrating rounds. There's yet another mission, smash and grab. You can see that the mission timers just are resetting. So let's see whom we can take on to this mission. The first thing I notice is we do have only one more hour until specialist training is done. We're definitely going to take uh, or to wait until this. And now we're going to infiltrate the mission. Okay, we made it and we're going to go in with only one increase to 15 enemies. Um, the smash and grab missions actually require you to be quite fast, so I don't want uh, that many enemies to obstruct us. Um, which means I think we have um, put everyone onto a mission. And we can optimize our resistance, our resistance activity here to go back to supply management. Let's get an engineer going. I think that's more more than enough for now. We can let the others still gather intel. Maybe we find a dark event that we 
actually need five more days. You know what? Really doesn't make any sense. We cannot do any other missions anyways. Only thing that that would do is help us against potential retaliation strikes, but since uh, most of uh, the missions are anyways on cooldown, might as well go for income. And you can see there is quite some in income to be had. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, the recording here because I got another appointment going. Thank you so much for watching and we will see each other in the next mission. As always, if you liked it, leave a comment down below and see you soon. Bye bye.